Now, the way people buy and sell a home largely hasn't really changed in a lot of decades. You essentially hire a realtor and you that helps you buy and sell your house. They use their contacts, they put that on the MLS, and that gets pretty much the job done. But new tech-focused firms are looking to disrupt that system. So joining us now with a look at how they do that is Jack Ryan, founder and CEO of Rex Real Estate. Uh, Jack, great to have you on. We love your name, Jack yeah. Ryan. Such a good one. I like Baker, actually. Yeah, you, you like can hope. take it. I'll take like Jack Ryan. Optimistic. Day. It's a fantastic <laughs> That's true. So uh, explain to our viewers how automated the how the how you guys have been able to automate the real estate experience well it's all about data today right so in the old days that you described well, I guess the current days for a lot of people they put the home in the MLS and they hope people show up or right. go to Zillow and Trulia and see it now we put our homes on Zillow and Trulia too but better like every other great company today is go out and find the buyer don't hope they come to your website go out and find them how do you find them big data so the scary thing is we know so much about you, Hope, or you, Baker. We know where you probably live and your lifestyle decisions and you know, if there's a new f person in the house and yeah. left the house. And based upon all that data, our computers can predict who's the likely buyer for this home and then drop ads and you say, hey, why don't you buy this home? Now, also importantly, too, is the timing of it, that mm -hmm. they would be ready. So when? So how does big data tell you when someone might be ready to get to the buying process. Well, there's all sorts of things we do. Some of the things we call longitudinal data, which is your behaviors and how they change over time. So we're looking at you over a two or three year period of time and watching how your behaviors change. And that change tells us probably you're ready to buy a home. The other thing is the things you do in a narrow window of time. Mm -hmm. So if you do three or four things in a short period of time, like for instance, you've lived in your home for seven years, a child has left for school, and you check the value of your home online, and you bought paint, three times more likely than random, you're about to buy a home. So we can target you and say, here's a home for you, especially if you know you live in a home that's smaller than the one we're selling, or you need more space because you just had added a kid to the family. So we can target you based upon your behaviors. But do you feel like that's where we're moving to, that essentially down the road, if you're buying or selling a house, it's almost essentially going to be automated in terms of how the, you're getting and selling your house. So we've gotten about 90% of the way there, but I think the last 10% requires computers to be emotionally intelligent. That's a long way off. So we still assign a, a human to talk to you before you list your house, and then a human to help you with that last mile with escrow and title and the, the contract negotiation. But 90% of it can be done digitally. So I started at Goldman Sachs like you know 25 years ago, and we used to have humans moving shares around, right. and now it's electronic trading. Totally. So I basically took the ideas we had at Goldman, and bringing kind of the Wall Street ideas to Main Street, saying we can find buyers for these shares or these homes at 80% less cost. So we charge 2%, not 6% and do it faster and better and cheaper, just the way we did in Wall Street when we started moving shares. But do you feel like uh, customers who are wanting to buy a house, are, do you feel like they're getting the house of their dreams, essentially this way? If anyway, it, it's helping you guys from the business perspective, but from the home buyer's perspective, are they getting essentially a customized house that they know they're going to like because of big data? Yeah, so we can help them. If we have a home that they want on our website, of course, we'll help them buy that home. But if they want another home, we can help them buy that home too, and by the way, We'll rebate half the fee back to them oh, because wow. we can save so much money through the uh -huh. big data collection we do. So, and we help them the mortgage, even help them move if, if they. Wow, uh, I like that part. That's yeah. always the hardest part. Where did this idea come from? Well, basically, my experience at Goldman. So, moving shares. We used to charge so much to move shares around, and then they had these things. Well, you know this from your, your yeah. background. Yeah. These things called the New York Stock Exchange floor brokers. They still yeah. exist. Right. But most of it just got done directly through big data and supercomputers. In the end, the computers can be smarter about who's likely buyer for shares or for bonds or for now, homes. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. We apply that same technology. We know you're you're in Los Angeles. Where can where is Rex used? Where can people use this? Southern California. We just moved to New York, Long Island, um, Brooklyn, Queens. Mm -hmm. We're coming to Manhattan, Austin, Texas in February, Denver in March, um, other states soon. We'll probably be nationwide within 12 months. A part of your business too is this idea of social good and building that into your mission statement and in the way that you do your business. Explain how that works. Well, it's such a key part of why we're doing what we're doing. So um, this is going to sound like a um, man bites dog story. But when I left the graduate school, I went to work in a refugee camp in South Texas. And then when Goldman Sachs went public, I was a partner there. I went to teach high school in the south side of Chicago. And then I was thinking, how do we create wealth like we did at Goldman, and then use that wealth to do good so we could fund refugee camps or help kids who didn't have homes or schools? And the idea was Rex. And so everyone who's joined our company has agreed with every 50 homes we sell, we build a home for someone who doesn't have one. And we've also put a lot of our net worth into, and the, and the wealth we create, into a trust to help build homes and schools for kids that they don't have that, them. That's so unique. I don't hear this every day at all. So does this right. also help your bottom line, though, being a company that has a social good mm -hmm. focus? 
I don't know if it does. You know, a lot of people come to the company, I think, because we have that social good compass, but it helps our kind of soul bottom line. I mean, of course, uh, it makes us feel good about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And then for our customers, you know, they save a lot of money and they're doing good too. And, um, you know, I'm looking at your little, your little this is like, this is a, this actually is a New York, Boston idea right here, right? The cheddar? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, the cheddar, because in New York and Boston, they call money like cheddar, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yes. so we, we, we save a lot of cheddar for people, and then we use the cheddar to help people who, um, you know, need homes or schools. Great so, network yeah. integration. We like that, Jack. It's, uh, well, it's right we, here by my face, right, right. here. Yeah. While we have uh, just a little bit of time left with you, I want to ask, I mean, we, I asked you earlier if you felt like down the road we're going to have a, essentially AI for all t types of buying and selling houses. Where do you actually see the future of home buying mm -hmm. going? I think it will be mostly a digital, um, big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning process, but humans empowered by that. So we ha when we have some work with you on the buy side, it's a human helping you, but a lot of their suggestions or advice are given to you by a computer. But you still need empathy and sympathy and compassion, and it may be that going through a tough time in your life when you want to buy this house, you want right. to talk about that as well as the house. So we still have humans interacting with you when you think about, is this right for my children? Is this right for the stage of life that you're in? But most of that uh, can be aided or helped or driven by AI or big data. What about robots? Will we be shown around a house for the little robot? We have a robot in the house. Well, so um, 75, there's about 75 questions you can have about a house. And um, that's about it. After 75 questions, you're kind of done. So you can train Watson or Siri to answer those 75 questions. Now, the trick is, there's 75 ways, or 100 ways, to ask those 75 questions. Right. Right. So you can say, does the house leak? What's the condition of the roof? Is that slate up there? Is there water damage? That all means what's the condition of the roof. So you have to train the computers to understand that. But if you want, on our site, if you want to ask the chat bot those questions, they can answer you. Or we deploy that bot into the home. If you want to talk to a human, talk to the human, they'll give you the same answer. But just as more ways to make the experience very seamless, very easy, very smooth. More importantly, does the chat bot get the commission? Um, well, the no, it doesn't. It gets no. the software. It gets an extra yes. charge overnight. It gets an extra charge. Uh, really amazing, fascinating stuff where we're seeing the real estate industry going. Jack Ryan, he's the founder and CEO over at Rex Real Estate. Thanks so much for Thanks joining us. Thanks for having Such me. Such a pleasure.